one of the other issues that comes up uh, in, in our counseling with patients is the issue of how do we define efficacy? And from a patient standpoint, efficacy equals seizure freedom. Um, and the reason for that is that if you look at quality of life in patients with epilepsy, patients who are seizure free, quality of life is significantly better reported by patients than one seizure every six months. And it's not that that one seizure every six months necessarily affects the quality of life for the six months before and the six months afterwards. It's the fact that the patient is living with the fear of when they're going to have another seizure, in addition to which the limitations of what they can do and they can't do because of the fact that they could have another seizure at any time within the next six months. That's why it's not ultimately the seizure itself, not that that's unimportant, but it's the extent to which that seizure affects quality of life that makes it so important for us as neurologists to always have the goal of seizure freedom for that patient. And the patient needs to know that that's our goal for them. Um, now, there is a disclaimer, and that is that we all have patients in whom we know we're not going to achieve seizure freedom. And, and we know that a reasonable goal is a gratifying reduction in seizure frequency. But for a large percentage of our patients, a reasonable goal will always be seizure freedom. 